things have not gone according to plan. Instead of landing in an open field, this Russian spacecraft has crashed into a remote forest. And it may be days before the crew is discovered by the rescue services. This is not real, of course. For years, this sort of survival exercise has been part of a routine training for Russian cosmonauts. What is unusual is that these people here have been selected in an open competition which has been announced a year ago by the Russian Space Agency. For years, candidates for Russian space flights have been selected either in the Air Force or the Russian space industry. But this sort of pool of candidates have been shrinking in the 90s and early 2000s. So a year ago, Russian Space Agency decided to open up the competition. Anyone who filed an application could possibly come and eventually become a cosmonaut. So in the end, eight people have been selected, most of them with technical background or medical knowledge. And now for at least six years, all of them will be trained to become cosmonauts. They will learn anything from operating spacecrafts to survival, to medical skills, obviously later on to scientific experiments aboard space station. So why do these people want to become cosmonauts? This profession, to be a cosmonaut, is very interesting. Right from the very beginning to the end, from when you first start learning to the final aim of actually going into space. I used to do many things which were relevant, so so far I can't say it's too hard. So now the candidates are looking for a suitable place to build some sort of a teepee, and they will spend two days, 48 hours, here in the snow in the middle of the woods. They're still in the very early stages of their training. They started last October. As I said, it will take them at least six years to become cosmonauts. So we don't know whether they will actually fly into space, but clearly this way of selecting new candidates is something very new for Russian Space Agency. Alek Boldarev, BBC News, Star City near Moscow.